All right, lads, welcome to the sink. Well, we're actually at the sink balcony on the map, north of the think tank, very close to the X-12 Research Center. This will act as your base of operations during the Old World Blues DLC. Now, allow me to show you not only where to find all the hollow tapes for all the appliances within the sink, but we're going to have we look through the lore and see what everything does. Now, you can shoot this uh, force field with the sonic emitter, and then you can take pot shots at all the lobotomites and various creatures, although it is a very, very long shot, and uh, probably not the most effective way to take them out. Now, going into the sink here, there are lots of AI personalities. First one we'll speak about is Muggy, one of my personal favorites. Muggy is a miniature Securitron. He has an addiction to all things that are dishware, especially cups and mugs. He loves them. It allows you to create a small supply of energy cells and scrap electronics once a day. Oh, please, please, He's also got a really cute mug thing. But yes, uh, to find his personality holotape, you can pop on over to the Securitron deconstruction plant. You'll find it on a truck just outside. Be sure to check out that video if you want to know where to find it. Next thing is the biological research station. Now, this one is one of my favorites as well. It allows you to grow plants that you can exchange into salient green. Then you can use that to create almost any other plant in the game. Well, hello. It's also got a very seductive voice. Waiting for that seed. Not for me, but that, I'm assuming that's what they were going for. Now, finding its one is actually quite easy. You simply need to nip over to the X-22 Botanical Garden. You'll find the hollow tape there. And in my video, I detail exactly where it is. I'll have every video for all of them linked in a pinned comment down below. Be sure to check it out. We have the sink, well, hello there. which is can a sink a with a personality in the sink. Kind of quite cool. You can chat away to them. They all have like different, th sometimes they'll comment, up, comment about one another. So it definitely gets very uh, amusing after a while. You can find the sink in the Magneto Hydraulics Complex. No enemies, it's just a bit involves, well there's no swimming actually to get the hollow tape. There is a bit of swimming if you want lots of ammo, ammunition and whatnot. Energy cells and that. There is storage in here alongside a workbench and a reloading bench. The storage cabinets kind of blend in sometimes, but they are they can be quite useful. Obviously, storage here is very safe. Now, the sink central intelligence unit is the only one I don't have. That's because I simply haven't done the quest line, the first quest yet, because uh, I've been doing that much exploring. But uh, that that you'll get pretty much straight away. Now, the auto dock here, the auto docks very very useful. It's actually superior to any other model of auto docks in the game. You can see what you can do a basic exam, cosmetic surgery, haircut, body parts, implants, everything. Now, a lot of them were upgrades, and you can find them scattered across various places. But to find the auto dock himself, you have to go to the Y17 medical facility. As with everything, there is a wee video if you need to know where to find it. The bookshoot and the jukebox here both have the uh, both have similar a similar location they're both found at Higgs village in two different houses so swoop on over to that video if you want to know where to find it now to give you a bit of information the book ship is a communist hating destroyer of knowledge it plan plans to destroy everything that resembles knowledge and all things that might aid an in independent thought such as pencils after upgrades, it can break down any pre-war book, clean or destroy it into blank books. It can break pencils into lead and scrap metal, as and clipboards into duct tape and scrap metal. That's really, really handy. Now, there is two light switch personalities, light switch 1 and light switch 2. I'm going to select them. Actually, might as well select bookship. Greetings, citizen. Ready to receive... He seems so, so nice about it, let's see. Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats. Class. Anyway, you can sit and talk to them all. Um, I won't go through all of them in their dialogue because... Communist! No false alarm. Look how communist. They, they'll actually interact with one another. It's very amusing. So this is light switch number one. Uh, I upgraded it to give plus two and plus five repair and plus science for 12 hours after exposure. Nice. How can I illuminate you? Yeah, this is a sort of more female one, um, next to the toaster. It has a more laid-back personality, and then obviously with that upgrades, even sitting in the exposure gives you all those benefits for 12 hours, which is just Certainly. brilliant. Now, if you want to know where to find light switch number one's personality, it's down at the X2 transmitter antenna array. Light switch number two is located in here. You've been seeing the other light 
switch, haven't you? They, they really do Everyone interactions between one another. This was the novelty of this entire room is brilliant. So, where do you find light switch number two's personality? That's pretty easy. It's up in the big mountain north tunnel. Going in, there's a wee room on the right, and you can find it there or in the video. Either or. Now, let's move on to yet another personality. We have the disabled jukebox. So, what's your purpose? Dig, I'm a acoustical wizard. Kid. Acoustical oh, wizard. Love it. Uh, yeah, he's found in, uh, as I said, in the do, 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 Higgsville. Higgs Village. Toaster here is one of my favorite as well. He's just, he is amused. They all have their own amusing personality. Got any more sweet, innocent little kitchen appliances for me? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the... Buddy, if my <laughs> heating element were just a little bigger, you... Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger. Yeah, so... The thing, the thing about this, it's an evil toaster with aspirations of a second Armageddon. Which can make plain Saturnite fists into superheated ones. That's pretty cool though. It can also rip apart appliances such as cameras, irons, hot plates and toasters, turn them into basic components. That's actually really sweet. Now to find him, simply you need to pop over to, oh, I've, I've forgotten where, where I am right now on the map. Uh, the Cuckoo's Nest, that's where you find it. It's like a lobotomite uh, stronghold nest kind of thing. Uh, once you go in there, you can find it. As I said, all videos will be linked in the description below. Player House and Fear is pretty sweet. You can also find tanks in this. This room is cut off for the for the first part of the quest line. Uh, this is your heart. Apparently, cranial surgery complications required its removal. Until your brain is returned, your heart can't be trusted to keep beating in your body. Your new heart, however, seems to be working just fine. The brain, based on the other tanks in the room, you can safely assume this is where your brain would be floating. It's currently missing from both the tank and its proper place in your head. But you seem to be doing fine without it. Here is your spine. Without a brain stem to snap onto it, here it floats. Your back doesn't feel any different from the spine's removal. If anything, whatever was placed here makes you feel stronger. So yeah, walking through, all the appliances will sort of chat to one another. There's foot lockers for storage, bed you can sleep in, there's a safe, trunks, first aid boxes, lockers, you can display items. It's, it is a very nice self-contained player housing, safe as can be. And, uh, obviously, with all the upgrades, it's a late-game player house. You know, like, the auto dock can do whatever you want. Um, everything breaks down items to components. It's it's brilliant. It is fantastic. Oh, one wee thing I forgot about. Into the bedroom, there is a wee poster for... Rafi. Rafi? Yeah. The robot's incredible odyssey. Looks a bit like Eddie. It's quite cool. So, yeah. The sink amazingly has no bathroom as well. That's another wee, wee thing for it. But... That's pretty much it, lads. The sink done and dusted. And with that, it is uh, my last video to complete Big Mountain. I've done a video for every single location. All leading to the sink balcony. So, I, I must say, if I was to say my favourite place is definitely the Forbidden Zone Dome, but it's the final sort of quest line for you. Um, really, really cool. If you want to check out the video, uh, definitely recommend. Everywhere, everywhere has just something really cool. Whether it's one of the personalities or an upgrade or anything, it just, they're all, they're all awesome. I must, must say, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable series. Thank you for joining along, and if you need to know any information on any location here in the Mojave, in Zion Canyon, or soon to be in the Divide, I have it all up ready for you to go, lads. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.